What's up, everybody? It's October 11th, 2022 in Big Bear Lake, California. It's 2 p.m. We started about 15 minutes ago getting some pretty good rain. This is really good. This is great for what we need for some lake filling action. How are you guys doing today? Hope you all are having a great day. So happy I can make all these videos in this season because uh, I'm, I'm not used to, to making this many videos during this time of year. So I'm super, super grateful. And we had a little bit of, uh, it looked like a little bit of hail coming down too. We got some good lightning and thunder. This is awesome. This is, this is freaking awesome. So hopefully, like I saw a couple hail pellets. I sw so I'm really hoping that we get a couple more because uh, as soon as I saw it start raining, I got all ready and, and this and that, but it's uh, kind of, uh, oh yeah, I kind of lagged a little bit. So I missed, uh, some of that that hail but we've got some good lightning good thunder obviously as you can see some beautiful rain if you guys can see i got my windshield wipers replaced but i also had my windshield replaced so and i did that because of all the little pits on it from from living under trees for the past three years and it'll make our videos better because it'll be clearer we won't have as many little visual obstacles to go through so i thought you guys might might like that that I replaced the windshield for this channel um, oh there's some lightning uh, I wish we could roll down the window Wow hey you guys so right now I want to point out uh, when we get there uh, it's uh, he's one of the nicest people in this whole town his name's Chris and he owns this coffee roasting company up here on the right hand side and I'm telling you guys he's got the most incredible coffee my wife is a coffee connoisseur and she she absolutely loves his coffee and to top that off the guy is just such an, such an amazing man who goes through some very serious health issues and I worry about him a lot but my point is that this guy he deserves all the love all the support in the world when you guys come up here so i'll show you where it is for those of you who want to go out and get a, a beautiful cup of coffee it's right here it's right here big bear coffee roasting company unbelievable this guy is so freaking cool yeah you know what maybe oh no just hang on a second. I just wanted to say hi to him real quick. Hang on, guys, okay? Okay, you guys, we just left the coffee shop, Big Bear Roasting Company, Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company, and as I was walking outside, right above us was a humongous lightning bolt. Humongous lightning bolt! And guys, every time I leave Chris, the owner of, of that place, because I like to stop by, offer him my love, my support. He's such a nice guy. He always gives me a free cup of coffee, a free iced coffee or whatever I want. And I, man, just, just there are so many wonderful people up here you guys if you just are patient like there's a lot of incredible people up here very selfless people and yeah so hopefully catch some more of this lightning because that was right above us typical for my situation where I just don't catch the lightning on camera but it's right here so anyway we're gonna we're gonna go down to the end of the village and then come through the village on the other side to get back but yeah we're getting some darn good rains here right now guys i'm excited about it and then what i'm gonna do after the video is go to jersey mike's and get my wife some lunchy poo because she's at work and that'll be great i hope everyone's doing awesome i'm so excited you guys like think about it we could have snow in three weeks time if mother nature helps us out and and plays her cards right with us or if we play our cards right with her that would be amazing that would be amazing all right cool so we're gonna go through the village here one of my favorite pizza joints here village pizza just like most of the stuff up here guys it's really hit and miss and I, I hate to say that it's really hit and miss 
what I mean by that is it's not consistent. One day you'll get the most amazing plate of food somewhere and then you, you, you like it so much you go back the next day and it's not the same. I've, felt, I've dealt with that with so many places up here. Okay, so we should be heading into the lightning part of the storm. So I'm just gonna try and keep this kind of propped up like that a little bit so you guys can see some lightning. Continue going this direction, we should be good with that. So, right when we enter the village, it starts raining heavier. I love it. I love you, sweetheart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop at Jersey Mike's and get you a large, or get us a large foot long to split, okay? Is that okay with you, my dear? Question mark. Alrighty. And by the way, I'm, I'm using, cause I got my wife the iPhone 13 plus with one terabyte of storage and stuff. It's such an awesome phone. But I'm using my, my old 12 plus that is was still brand new in the box. I just opened it to be able to record with it because I'm tired of using, this is what I've been using guys. This little stupid thing, this little dumb little iPhone for the longest time because it's so small and it's so easy, but the videos just aren't as good as I want them to be. So, oh well, but come on, let's see some lightning guys. Come on, let's get some lightning up here. Let's get some lightning up here. And for those of you watching this far, um, I, I'm going to be posting at the end of the video these like, it's like a 42 second clip of just a little bit of merchandise that I have. Um, I mean, it's 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 really high quality stuff. They're just beanies and stuff, but they're not the cheap stuff. It's like merino wool. Uh, I, I I spent a fortune for it because I I I know I I can't afford much of that stuff on this channel, but the stuff that I did have. Even if I didn't sell a lot, I just wanted to be proud and have a really beautiful, like top of top of the line, just top quality stuff. And that's what we have with these beanies. They are insane, you guys. If you go to Nordstrom's, they're, just for a basic one like these, they're like 200 to 250 bucks, just without any name on it or anything, just plain. They're very expensive, 100% fine merino wool. And mine are so awesome, but anyway. Hopefully some of you are interested and feel like splurging a little bit to help your boy out. That would be great. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're starting to get a little flooding. That crepe cafe that we just passed, unfortunately I didn't get my video on it. Another good friend owns that and they are such amazing people. He and his wife are so awesome. They just moved to Mammoth full time. Um, so I'm excited because we have a place to stay up there. And maybe for the and more part of this channel, I could stay there and do a recording of a storm. Because, yeah, it's not Big Bear, but the and more part, maybe I can get away with it, you guys. What do you think? Yeah, anyway. This is awesome. Look at all. Oh, my gosh, yes. Yes. Oh, do you see that? It's right there. It's huge. Just to the right. not going to be able to hear it because of my loud car. That was awesome, guys. That was freaking awesome. Oh my gosh, it was right there. And it was so bright, like my eyes are like kind of bothering me right now because I, I, I was staring right at it when it happened. Holy moly. Holy moly, chillabadool. I know you guys, I am a very strange feller. I am a very strange feller. I think my wife thinks so too. <laughs> Alright, guys, this is we're turning right up here to go up to Snow Summit and stay facing this way because this is where the lightning was. Right here. It was right here. Come on, give give us another one, please. Come on. Come on. Smile on your brother. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so awesome and so exciting. 
I just don't want to lag because I don't want my wife to wait for her food. But the only problem is, is that like if I wait, we're gonna miss this. So I've I've got to get this handled. She's she fully understands my business. Obviously, if if my wife says, "Honey, get over here right now. I can't go another minute without food." Of course, I'll drop everything. But she's like, "Go go finish your videos and then come." Come, come bring me some food. So that sounds good to me. Okay, this is where the lightning was right here. And we are in the Snow Summit parking lot. Wow. This is beautiful. All right guys, Snow Summit. I'm just gonna just like uh, coast or idle through this parking lot so we can hopefully Give it enough time to give us some lightning here. And it's cool though, because now that I'm using two different phones, I'm using this iPhone 12 Plus to record now, and uh, this little iPhone to make my calls. Now I don't have to shut off the camera as much to answer phone calls and stuff, because I can just answer them while I'm on. I'm not trying to be rude, but I don't know. I, I'm sure you guys don't don't mind that much because I still have things that I have to be responsible for during the day. It's so sunny, just just beautiful. Let's just go through here real quickly. Every time I come here now, all I think about is when I got to come see No Effects and the Vandals here. It was awesome, so awesome. And then after the show, I talked to Fat Mike right at this staircase right here for like 10 minutes. It was so cool. Fat Mike from No Effects right there. Man, it was so cool. Anyway, yeah, guys, we're at Snow Summit. Snow Summit Ski Resort. Oh, yeah, it's so gorgeous, guys. Let's get some lightning here. Come on, guys, please. Please show me some lightning love, Mother Nature. Please. Okay, well we're gonna head back into the into the rainstorm. See you later, Summit. Okay. Windshield wipers are awesome. It is slide so nicely. Okay, so we're on Summit Boulevard now, folks. I'm wondering which way the storm's tracking. The cool thing is too is that I can look at my weather information while I'm on this camera as well. So that's that's fantabulous. Hang on. Okay, so we're and the other night, guys, I saw the saddest thing. There were a bunch of cops in this parking lot. We're just gonna drive through it. And at pump number two right here, they were giving CPR to some man. And my wife and I were just sitting there praying and praying and praying. And I don't know what happened, but they, 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 when they put him in the back of the ambulance after 10 or 15 minutes of trying to resuscitate him, the ambulance didn't go anywhere. So that, that scares me, that scares me. That really scares me. And I want to wait for this. Look at this. Look at like there's the, there's, there's, there's going to be lightning right there, guys. I, I know there is. I know there is. I, I just hate being proven wrong all the time. <laughs> People waving at us. They must know who I am. Or they're saying, what a, what a jerk, he's recording, what an idiot. What an idiot, my friend. My gosh, this iced coffee, you guys, is phenomenal. Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company, guys, owner's name is Chris. The guy's a sweetheart, he really is. Goes through so much, health-wise though, you guys, he goes through so much. Um, and just anything to support people who are working their butts off, who are, who, are struggling in like other areas. I, I just feel so freaking good about always shopping there. 
he's such a cool 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 dude so for like for like coffee he's the guy to go to for the food the crepe cafe love those freaking people and for shopping up here big bear smoke and vape just these are wonderful people you guys these are wonderful people the smoke and vape shop has a bunch of like souvenirs and stuff like that so it, it's not just smoke and vape stuff um but yeah the owner of that place his family's been up here for years and years and years so they're they're they're, they're super local people and super cool yeah we're on big bear boulevard right now and it, it looked like i saw a little hail pellet you guys looked like a piece of ice just popped up under my windshield Awesome sauce. And people recognize me when I'm in this car. I've been driving my wife's car for the past two months. I love her car. But once we get our storms, our snowstorms, because you guys know how I like to just go without chains and just have a good time, I won't be driving her car at all because I don't want to screw it up. If I end up crashing I, I, or something like that, I, I want it to be my car. She, she's worked so hard. Bought her car with cash and everything. Like She is such an amazing woman. I love her to death. Alright, so we're going to pull into this parking lot here. And we're going to get Jersey Mike's and then when we leave, we're going to finish recording all the way to drop this off to my wife. Yeah, boy. Jersey Mike's. Guarantee you right when I turn off the camera, there's gonna be lightning right here. I promise you, right there. This is awesome. This is awesome. Let's just give it 10 seconds, guys, please. Just 10 seconds. Man, some of this rain is heavy, heavy, heavy. I'm digging it. Come on, don't make me look like a liar. Please, Mother Nature. And my car is so annoyingly loud that you can't hear the thunder. Oh well, we're gonna shut it off right now. I'll be right back, I love you guys. All right, you guys, we are off like a turd of hurdles. All right, here we go. And there was a huge lightning bolt right before I turned on the camera, of course. And that's just how it works, right guys? Yeah, it was right above us again. It was right here. Guys, this is this is some nasty weather right here. I mean, look at this. That's just some nasty ass weather right there. Oh, you gotta love this. But we're gonna go now, and we are going to turn right on stand, or Starvation Flats right here, the next stoplight, to go meet up with my wife <coughs> in Upper Moon Ridge. So we get to go do a video in Upper Moon Ridge, and hopefully, it doesn't look as stormy up that way, but it might be. It might be. We'll see. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying. I hope you guys are excited about all the weather we've been getting. Um, apparently, it hasn't impacted the lake at all. As a matter of fact, the lake is still getting lower every day. Um, I just don't, I don't understand it. Even when we had that like three-week period of just constant heavy, heavy rain and thunderstorms, I thought we would at least put a dent in the amount of water that we need but nope it's still even lower than it used to be and we've got three miles and this thing just said lightning strike within one mile of your location on my phone but yeah Looks like the super heavy storminess is over this way. But well, we are going straight ahead up into those hills right up there. take Fox Farm Road. Or you know what guys? No, we're going to take Moonridge Road in. We're not going to take the back route because I want you guys to see from the main road what it's like. So I started taking the back route in, but we're just going to go back to the main road here. 
So right now we're on Fox Farm Road. They got a bunch of cute little houses on this street. This town has a ton of cute little houses, you guys, and some really amazing big houses too. But what I really like, as opposed to where I grew up, I, I grew up on this little island in Newport Beach called Linda Isle. There's 107 houses, and every house is a freaking magnificent mansion. Um, what I like about this area is that you can be on a lot of the streets here, and there'll be a, a, a tiny, cute little house, and then next door you'll have a mansion. So it's like you'll have a mixture in these neighborhoods. And right here could be a good spot to catch some lightning if this light stays red for a second. So let's see here. Let's see here. I mean, yeah, it's really stormy over here, guys. But this guy's got the right away, but he's waiting. So I guess we're gonna have to just wait to. Not. All right. Going into the storm. We're gonna hang a left on Moon Ridge Way, which is this little tiny outlet road on the left side here of Walgreens. All right. It doesn't look like we're gonna get too much weather up there, but I could be wrong. As we climb in elevation, things happen. Things change. So we're starting our minor ascent right here. some weather excited very excited all right look at us cutting the roundabout off just going straight through it ah Guys, hang tough for a second, just a second. Okay, guys, so we're gonna go through the long way, or we're, we're, we're gonna go through the roundabout to turn right here. We're gonna do the whole roundabout. I'm so stupid. Or maybe, maybe we won't. All right, so. so we're just gonna, <laughs> these, these firemen and stuff are like, what an idiot, what is he doing? But I just wanna go around the roundabout to get to where we need to go. <laughs> Alright, perfect. <laughs> Don't know what my problem is, but there's a big one. It's a huge problem. It's me. Oh, there's some more firemen. Oh, mister. Oh, there's another truck. Fire truck. Hey there, fire truck. Hello there, fire truck. I feel so bad for the golfers too because we are at the end of our golf season up here. I didn't get to golf once, but I'm married. So that's, I'd rather be married than golf even though golfing was like one of the happiest things I could ever do. I never thought I'd find things that could really trump that, but being married to my wife definitely trumps that. every single one of you are doing great I hope you guys are healthy um, thank you for always checking out the channel um, I hope a lot of you do see that I never ask anyone to subscribe or hit the like button or hit the notification bell I just love what I do 
and it keeps it authentic. Not that it's not authentic if you're asking people to subscribe. I'm not saying that whatsoever. I'm just saying it's it's it's, it's just that much more authentic. Because I'm not begging people. I'm not. Uh, and also, then that doesn't obligate me to anything as well. Because I want to do everything I can for you guys. Yeah, we're at Bear Mountain right now. It's so beautiful. Like, look, look at the, the those fall colors straight ahead. Just beautiful. Oh my gosh, that, that was my favorite run as a kid. The second one on the right here. Here's hole number one at the golf course. Look at that, look how beautiful that is. Just look at that. So we're gonna go up to the top real quick. You know what, you know what? I'm gonna take my wife for food right now. I'm not gonna do that to her. I love you guys. We got the brunt of what we need in. I just wanted to, to go up to turn right right there to go up to the top and just look out over the, the whole valley because then we'd easily see the lightning, no problem. It would be in the same frame. All right, let's see here. So we're gonna turn right on this street called Sheephorn to get up there. It was cool also, I went into Jersey Mike's and because they know me a little bit, they were nice enough and they offered me a discount without, like I'll never ask you guys, I'll never ask for that stuff ever. I feel weird about asking for stuff like that. But they, I, I got like the giant sandwich. It should have been like 18 or 19 bucks. And I was only charged like $9 and change. So I left them the rest of the $20 bill for a tip. And that's awesome. That's what you got to do. Take care of these people. Take care of the people around you. Love the people around you. And have something in life to offer, whether it's love, kindness, companionship, friendship. Those are the important things. All the fiscal stuff is an extra added bonus that, you know, believe it or not, I like that stuff too, but I am very, very happy where I'm at. Um, I could use a few more bucks. That's why I'm trying to sell those darn beanies. Um, and for the people who do their research and everyone who's bought them so far, the feedback is amazing. I, I, I've had quite a few of them say like, yeah, I never thought I'd pay $70 for a beanie, but when I did my research after you asked us to, to find these types of fabric and stuff like that with a leather patch and this and that, what it would cost. And everyone was like, wow, I really did get a great, great, great deal. And it's, it's a win-win for all of us guys. You guys get a, a sick product and, uh, and I get to continue to support my family. And that's all I care about. I have two grandkids now, you guys. I'm Grandpa Nick, I have two grandkids. Three years old and one and a half, almost. I, th I think, I think one and a half. Or, or maybe just past one. I Shoot, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I don't know why my brain is so brain farting right now. But it's like, uh, my brain has a lot of gas in it right now. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna be going up here to a street called Wolf to my wife and this phone's gonna overheat I can I can feel it I can feel it that's why I'm keeping it out the window for a second and we are climbing up significantly right now it's a pretty steep grade usually you guys there will be a lot more snow right here than there will be just down at the very bottom when we have snow Here's some views that I'm missing of the ski resorts. What? <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, there's Geronimo. Such a scary run for me. As a little kid, I, I had to be rescued on there. It's not the longest run, but as soon as I started going, going down, I fell and started sliding down the whole time and I was able to stop myself and then I couldn't move. I was, I was bound in fear <laughs> and they had to come rescue me. I felt bad for the ski patrol guys too because like that's so steep but they put me on this like stretcher thing and they it's like a sled and they sledded me down the mountain. I was probably 11 years old. Look at those fall colors down there. 
look at those. Oh my gosh, look at those. Just spectacular. Holy moly. I think that's gonna be our thumbnail right there. That's a just beautiful, holy moly, jolly moly. All right, we're turning on Wolf right now. We're on Wolf. Woo -hoo. I want to thank you all for all the beautiful comments you're always leaving and the interactions that we all have together. It makes me feel really good. You guys are such loving people and I never imagined, oh, look at these clouds. Look at these clouds. You know what, if I can get a little view over here, I think we're gonna stop and look, just wait for one lightning bolt and then we'll, we'll finish up with taking my wife her food. Look at the lake right there. Oh, what a spectacular view. What a spectacular view. So this is where I'm thinking we'll see some good lightning, guys. Right here. Some big, beautiful houses up here, guys. You guys will trip out. In the past two and a half years, rents have doubled up here. I'm, I'm not, not kidding. When my wife just got rid of her house to move in with me, um, it was a thousand a month and then because of all the flooding that she was forced out for and this and that, um, they couldn't raise it as much, but now they, they raised it by 50%. So the next people who will live there, it'll be 1500 a month. Um, everything's going up like significantly. It's, it's really unfortunate because a lot of people work their butts off up here and now a lot of them are forced to have to move down the mountain. And it's, it's just really, 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 really sad. All because of that. So it's really, really sad bunch of longtime locals are being forced to leave for empty houses. Oh, wow, it's so dark over there. But this is where we're going here. To the right. Uh, so we are in Upper Moon Ridge, you guys. We're on a street called Villa Grove. And Villa Grove will, will take you in a big loop around and yeah on the way down I'll record as well and then I'll patch the videos together once we get down there it's telling me to turn up this little tiny street that's kind of weird is over here what a trip I never knew this street existed how cool is this all right guys I'm gonna shut it off for a moment for a little privacy and then I will talk to you guys in a moment when we're heading back down oh it's so beautiful up here guys it's so gorgeous Alrighty guys, we just dropped off my gorgeous wife some food. Some food. Foodie booty. I still can't believe I'm married. It's freaking crazy. It's awesome. I'm freaking married. Holy moly. Alright, anyway, enough about me. It's constantly talking about me. Me, me, me. But this is the little cool little side street that I never knew existed. I thought this was just a long driveway to someone's house. So I'm really glad that uh that we were able to come down that street. Thank you, sweetheart, for inviting me to that house. So my 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 wife cleans Air, Airbnbs. She's she's like a supervisor type for her company. Um, she's very very good at what she does. Um, I'm just super 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 proud of her. She can do like seven or eight houses in a day. Like it's it's just crazy and it's thorough. Does an amazing job. Um, that's a really killer job up, up here, you guys. You, you can make us a, 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 like a, a small fortune. As I said, she bought her car for like 30 grand in cash. Um, yeah, she's, I'm, I'm so proud of her, like holy moly, like so proud. Um, but yeah, anyway, so we're gonna start heading down in just a second towards all these dark clouds over here. And I'm hoping that we get some more lightning. She was saying there were some intense lightning bolts right on top of them up here. Of course I miss those two. 
but I did see a couple. Look at these clouds though. Wow, look at these clouds. You know, we're gonna go down this way. We're gonna go, go down Luna. Okay, because right here, that's where there's gonna be some lightning, you guys, right there, I promise you. I promise, right in that area. I promise. So, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll take this back to Butte. Oh yeah, so gorgeous, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful up here. I forget sometimes how gorgeous it is because I, I, I become complacent and almost take it for granted sometimes. I have to remind myself constantly, you better not take this place for granted, bro. I grew up in Newport Beach right on the water, literally right on the water. We had a huge yacht, a catamaran, Boston Whaler, just everything. And uh, I took that for granted as a kid. And I don't ever want to take that for granted again. Oh no, this is, I know what, where this is taking us. <laughs> I think it's taking us right back to where we just were on Villa Grove. No. Okay. Butte. Uh, you know what? Forget it. We're going down sheep horn again. Forget it. Forget it. And I'd hate to be working on these wires up here with, with rain. Actually, to be honest, I would hate to be working on these wires at all. Look at that dude way up on that ladder. That's freaking hairball. I couldn't do that. I'm so scared of that stuff. Heights destroy me. This guy behind us is hauling some serious ace. So we're gonna let him pass so I don't have to go fast. I don't know why they're in such a freaking hurry, but I guess sometimes people ask that about me. I drive kind of like a bat out of hell sometimes. Come on, lightning. Give me some love. Give me some love. There's a little nook view of the lake right through there, but you can't really see it now. Almost looks like a fire right there. Like a lightning bolt caught something on fire. Okay, so let's do this. Make a left here. We're, we're now we're on Butte. Good, good, good. That's just awesome. That's where I wanted to go originally. Villa Grove again. As I said, you can do a huge, huge loop here on Villa Grove. You can go all the way up to the top and all the way around. It's it's it's, it's kind of like a bypass, if you want to call it that, of this upper Moon Ridge area. We're in like middle Moon Ridge now. About to be in lower Moon Ridge. Look at just how beautiful, oh my gosh. And some of the colors are popping because we don't get as crazy fall colors as I've always wanted up here. But some little areas like right here, some of these trees, just beautiful, just absolutely beautiful. right there wow I think those are aspen trees all right there's no cars behind us I think we could just wait here for a second and just keep the camera focused right here because that's where it's gonna happen you guys it's going to happen there please give me some love mother nature please Right after a little bit of rain, it is so crystal clear. Like you can see everything so well. Four 
unfortunately we're not getting anything up here, so. Just beautiful out here, guys. It's so beautiful. So if we don't get this by the end of Moon Ridge Road, then unfortunately we did try our best. But there were some incredible lightning bolts, you guys. It was unbelievable. I wish you all very well always. Thank you guys for supporting this channel. Thank you for being my friend. I appreciate it very much. I love you all very much. And I'm looking forward to winter time. So we'll see you guys soon. Um, this is gonna be season eight of this channel coming up. I can't believe it. Eighth year. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. You take care and peace out. October 11th, 2022 in Big Bear Lake, California. Thunderstorms galore. <laughs>